Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Janelle Burgess Show. I'm DJ Foster, joined by Grand Valley State head women's basketball coach, Janelle Burgess. Coach, thanks for joining me this week. It's great to be here. Thank you. A lot, a lot of good things to talk about from last week. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, we'll start with the 73-53 uh, the to 53 win over Lake Superior State last Thursday. You were finally back home in your own gym, mm -hmm. uh, and your team looked awfully comfortable. You led wire to wire for the fifth time this year, which is actually pretty tough to do. Uh, you had four players scoring double figures. Mm -hmm. Danny Crandall led the way with 12 points and eight rebounds. Cat LaPrairie had 11 points, Brianna Taylor and Merrill Kripe had 10 points each. Uh, but I think the big thing was you forced 21 Lake Superior State turnovers and scored 24 points mm -hmm. off those turnovers. A good win for you over, over Lake State. Yeah, I think a solid team effort, obviously. You talked about a wide range of young ladies scoring. We had the opportunity to get everybody in the game and really did a much better job making some defensive adjustments in the second half. We weren't too pleased with our defense in the first half, to be honest. I think we gave up 30 points or something in the first half and really did a much better job of locating um, Maria, who's a great all-conference player, mm -hmm. and shut her down a little bit better, and then was able to focus on just containing penetration. So very excited about the opportunity to go into the locker room, make some good adjustments, and be able to fulfill those adjustments to equal a good win. One thing that came out after that, uh, that was your 100th career victory uh, here at Grand Valley mm -hmm. State. Congratulations <laughs> on that. What does that mean to you? I think it means that we've had a lot of great young ladies that have come through this program and really done what is you know, needed the most, which is play together and play for each other. And that is something, I mean, 100 wins is great, but it's really about the young ladies that have been able to make it happen. On Saturday, you made it 101. Uh, which it, it, for a while, it looked, yeah, it looked like it, it might not have been your 101st victory. Uh, you trailed 50 to 38 at Northwood, yeah. final five or six minutes. You scored 12 straight points to tie it up. Yeah. And then uh, it kind of goes back and forth, and Brianna Taylor scores six straight points. Uh, after that point, she finished with 24 points, seven rebounds, five assists, 10 of 15 from the field. Played tremendous. You get a 60 to 57 win on the road against a team that defeated you here at home. So good to get a little revenge there. Uh, but just a great way to finish off that one in, in comeback style. Obviously, Northwood's a great team, and they gave us a, a tremendous effort. And I thought we were really, really trying to find identity on both ends of the court throughout the entire game. In the last nine minutes, I felt like we finally, you know, owned the defensive end where we were containing penetration, switched a lot of ball screens, which allowed us to be able to be stay between the ball and the basket. Um, and then offensively, we just we just out hustled them in so many aspects. We went 10 for 10 from hustle plays in the last nine minutes, which was, I mean, definitely the uh, difference of the game. And then I think you mentioned that Brianna Taylor had six straight points at one point in time, and she had that that never say die attitude and was just going to find a way to will us to victory. So now you've won four or five. Uh, you're 13 and six in conference play. That puts you in third place in the North, fifth mm -hmm. place overall. Uh, good news, two of your final three games are at home uh, where you're nine and two this year. So talk about just kind of this kind of final stretch now. I think every game has great meaning behind it. And, you know, we're really just talking continually, talking about what we've talked about all year, which is getting better. And I believe each game we are, you know, continuing to find a little bit, you know, more identity and a little bit more success in a variety of ways. And I just love the focus of these young ladies right now. I mean, practices are enjoyable. We're practicing hard. We're competing hard in practice. And it's obviously carrying over to the court. So we'll be excited to, you know, get two, uh, two opportunities to succeed this week. Yeah, Thursday you go to Saginaw Valley State at 8 p.m., your final road game in the regular season. You defeated them earlier in the year, 74-48. to 48. Mm -hmm. uh, And then on Saturday you come back home, you take on Wayne State, uh, one of the better teams, obviously, in the conference. You had a 72-59 to 59 loss there. Uh, in late January. Talk about uh, these two games coming up, another away home uh, doubleheader for you. Yeah, Thursday night, obviously, Saginaw's playing extremely well in so many ways. They've got a, a, one of their shooters, Kristen Green, is back, um, who did not play when we played them. So there's going to give us some, you know, definitely some challenges, and we're going to have to make sure that we stick together and, and show good ball movement and really defend the low post. And the same thing will be true on Saturday. We will have to defend the low post. We've got two great low post players coming at us in both of these games. And then just being able to contain penetration against Wayne State will be huge as well. Grand Valley State 17 and 6 on the year, 13 and 6 in GLIAC play. And again, Coach, congratulations on your 100th career victory. We're looking at many more. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Janelle Burgess Show here on the Grand Valley Sports Network.